Hello, my name is Nick Vetro, and I'm the Youth House League and Special Programs Coordinator here at the Oakville Soccer Club. Today, we will be going over the components of the 11 v 11 game, which is included in the Soccer for Life stage of development. Let's begin with the formation commonly seen at this stage. Watch as the coach explains a 1-4-3-3 formation to the players. This consists of one goalie, four defenders, three midfielders, and three forwards. Other recommended formation options can be found on OSC's website under coaching resources. Take a look at the players properly set up in a 1-4-3-3 formation on their side of the field. The corner kick is in effect at the 11 v 11 Soccer for Life stage. This happens when a defending player touches the ball last before it goes out over the goal line. The corner kick is given to the attacking team. Please observe as the ball goes out of play and the corner kick is taken. The throw-in is introduced at this stage. As the ball goes out of play off of the white team, the blue team is awarded with a throw-in. Penalty kicks are in effect at the 11 v 11 age group. Watch as a defender's arm comes in contact with the ball inside the penalty area. A penalty is awarded and taken by the attacking team. At the 11 v 11 stage, goalies are now allowed to drop kick the ball. They are able to execute a drop kick if they gain possession of the ball while it is still in play. As an example, the goalie holds onto a ball after the save and proceeds to drop kick the ball down the field. The offside is in effect for the 11 v 11 age group. An offside takes place when an attacking player is closer to the opponent's goal line than both the ball and the second last opponent. An offside will be called when the ball is passed forward to the player. Let's see the offside rule in action. Thank you for watching and learning more about the 11 v 11 game. For more information, please visit oakvillesoccer.ca. We look forward to seeing you on the pitch.